somewhere, sometime in their business, they've made a decision, they've made a commitment that certain pieces are going to be non-negotiable uh, as they as they drive their business. So uh, I'd like to just go down the line as we close this out and you think about, here's the one thing in my business that is non-negotiable that has helped me create great success. You. Uh, sharing my life authentically. How much do you want me to say? Okay, sharing my life. Just put it, like, take your camera and, like, turn it around and face yourself. And do some selfies and talk about you. Share about what's going on in your life, your challenges, your successes, your struggles. I think that's super important. If, if you don't put yourself out there on social media, that's that's kind of your storefront. You're not going to you're not gonna be attracting people to your business. So, yeah. Um, I think treating my business like a business. I think a lot of people want the results that some of us have had up here, but you treating your business like a hobby, and you're not taking this very seriously. And I think so. If you treat your business like a business, you've got business hours. You know, not just checking messages like here and there, but you know, business hours. You have things that you do. You work from a list every single day, and legitimately treat this like it's a storefront that opens and closes every single day, and you are going to show up for it and do the activities, you're going to have tremendous, much more success than treating it like a hobby. Um, I have two. Number one is never, ever, ever comparing yourself to someone else. And I know that it can be hard to sit there and hear someone share numbers and say, oh, I recruit this many, or I hit this many success call points, or I invite this many. But the truth is, you don't want to do what someone else did because you're a completely different person and you appeal to a completely different audience. And it is the biggest time waster to compare yourself to someone else because even just the 10 of us sitting here, we're all so different from such different backgrounds, families, everything. I could never have the same success that Amy has or Lindsay has or anyone else up here because I'm not them. You want to do you and you want to do you really, really good. And it's only going to harm you if you're looking at everybody else's papers. So, Keep your blinders on and your non-negotiables every day, your three vital behaviors times 30, <laughs> and only do you. No one else does you as good as you do. Yeah. I would say for me, since I'm such a, like a, I always have 10 things going on. I'm, I'm an Aries, I'm very into multitasking. I have to have tons and tons of stuff happening. For me, just really focusing on the task at hand I think when I first started focusing and like doing what I set down to do versus the notifications and the tings and the thing, you know, turn off, I turn off all my notifications on my phone. My phone is always black. There's no notifications popping up, always distracting me. I'm a sapphire, so I, I like if a, a, if a bird flies by, I'm like, ooh, you know, like I get very distracted. And so I remember the first time I sat down to be a focused worker and be productive, I closed every single tab except for my email. And I just went through it and I was like, oh my God, it took like 10 minutes versus like five hours. And I was able to start working faster and faster and faster and faster. And then I was able to start actually living my life and working versus being stuck on Facebook for 24 hours a day. You know, you're on Facebook 24 hours a day because you're not productive, not because Facebook is sucking your time. Just remember that. So for me, it's probably been um, you know, staying in a constant state of growth, not becoming complacent. It's easy in this business to achieve milestones that you never thought you would achieve. You know, obviously on the financial side of it, it's ridiculous, but I always want to remember the girl who I was six years ago who was lost, and that's the girl that I'm speaking to, and I grow on her behalf because I know the more that I personally grow, the more I can pour into those people that I'm blessed to come across and pay that forward, and I just want to continue to be on that path. So I think it's, um, there's two things. I think you having a plan is, is so important. You just can't go through this business just sort of winging it. Now I'm sure here, Monday I'll start doing a sneak peek. Next week I'll run a free group. You really have to sit down and have a game plan for your business that you duplicate every single month so you get into a rhythm that you can teach. But then also, I believe that you have to have belief in yourself. And you have to say against all odds, against all things that have happened in my life, no matter what I look like, no matter what my shape or size is, you have to look in the mirror and say, I believe without a shadow of a doubt I'm going to be successful. I don't know how. I don't know exactly what that's going to look like. But I just know 
that God created me to do something bigger, and I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to keep going because I just know that it's within me to do something great. And I think when you when you believe and you have a plan, then, then you're going to be led on that right path, and you're going to have success. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I have uh, two quick ones. Um, one is not letting your current life situation keep you from getting what you want. Um, you know, I, I got up here um, to where I am now, being very, very pregnant last year, and there was a minute when I said, you know, this, no one's gonna take me seriously, everything's gonna go downhill, like it's just gonna be a mess, but, um, you know, I had to kind of gather myself and say, no, I'm gonna let this be my story, and, you know, let your current life situations, whatever it is, help you mold your story and share all of it share the heck out of it um, because there's so many people out there that can relate to you and I mean that's when my business took off you know I thought it was going to be like this fitness superstar at one point and no it turns out I found all of my you know people the, the people that related with me the most is when I you know went through my pregnancy and um, all that good stuff uh, and my second one is um, getting to an event and getting to all the events <laughs> Um, Summit was my biggest turning point in this business. I kind of went from, you know, Sapphire who just wanted to go to Vegas and I get to Vegas and I just soaked up every minute of it. I watched some of these coaches up here on stage and they were just normal moms and they were me, you know, and, and I looked at them and I said, I want that. I'm going to go after that. Um, and, you know, so much happened at that event and I will always get myself to as many events as possible to feed off that energy and keep going. I am going to snowball, snowball, snowball and say that I think the biggest thing for me was being open and being vulnerable to sharing my story because my story is what makes me unique in this business and it's the same for a lot of you out there. You know, I I think I did mine as a guest on my uplines team call like five days in the coaching. Pretty sure I spent the whole day in the bathroom before that happened. Um, but it was very scary. And on that call, you know, five days as a new coach, I was able to share, you know, overcoming anorexia and bulimia and marriage struggles and things like that. And from that day forward, it was like you just open the door for so many people to just connect with you and have that common ground with you. And it's a conversation starter. So um, definitely not putting up a wall and opening up and being you and hit successful. <laughs> it's the us and we're like, what she said, what she said, what she said. <laughs> so no, um, yeah, I was actually thinking what Megan said, you know, let your struggles be your strength. Um, you're, this is life, you guys, like people are unfortunately going to die. You're going to have relationships, you know, crumble. Um, but what you can do for you, you have to work on yourself. You have to fill your cup and grow, you know, grow inside so that you can pour into others and you can, you know, be the best friend to your, you know, team or whoever, you know, your spouse, whoever that is. Um, just honestly show up every single day, no matter what. Um, there's going to be a lot more hard days than there are good days. Um, but just honestly, really, um, you know, show up every single day. I mean, that's what I've done. <laughs> Do I not have the hardest job? <laughs> I have to sum it all up, but uh, seven of us did a success club, a group thing together. I don't know if any of you guys were a part of that, but yay, that was so much fun. But one of the things that we ended with our little live, um, see, I'm so bad at that. What's it, what is it, hangout? Is that what we did? We did hangout. And I had mentioned that I want you, or you should as brand new coaches or coaches just getting your feet wet, is to be able to stand on a stage just like this with your shoulders back and your head up saying, I am a beach body coach and I am so proud to be one. Um, you are so different than anybody else. And so it's not just a matter of you being a part of an MLM or network marketing. You are a coach, you are changing lives, you are saving lives. So put your shoulders back, be proud of it, scream it from the rooftops and let people know what you do because otherwise they're not gonna know. And so they're gonna go to the next person that is gonna scream it out, probably one of these nine. So you be the person to scream it out for them to go, I want that enthusiasm in my life and so that they come to you and become a coach on your team. Awesome.